Hmm. Let's see if I'm a true Sith. What's up guys, this is Brad. I got back from the theater. You see me wearing some Star Wars shirts, BB-8s, a hoodie. Look at that. Such an awesome hoodie. Anyways, <laughs> so I seen The Force Awakens and it is so good. So, so good. Let me get this out of the way. I predicted that this movie was going to beat the prequels. But it was definitely not going to be the originals, and turns out I was right. <laughs> I was right about this prediction. The first thing I'll talk about is the cast. The cast was excellent for this movie. Like, don't get me wrong, I still prefer like the original Mark Hamill and Harrison Ford and stuff like that. But this cast was really good. So, I'll start with I'll start with one of the characters. So we got Ray. Ray is this really cool female protagonist. Like, she's pretty much the main character in this movie. Anyways, she is awesome. Like, I really like this character a lot. I like that... <laughs> like, I actually knew about this. I knew that she was going to turn out to be a Jedi, and I am so happy that happened. And she's just... She's such an awesome Jedi, too. Like, she's strong. Um... I've heard people complain that she was kind of annoying, like her face. Like <laughs> I've heard people say, like, "Oh, all she does is this the whole time, just this, and this, and this." I didn't think she was that annoying, but honestly, she she was awesome though. Next, we got Finn. Finn is this cool guy who he joined he joined the Empire. I know it's not called Empire in this movie, but I'm just going to call it that because I can't remember. I like that he, you know, he joined the Empire, but then he decided he didn't want to go that route. So he just said, screw it, I'm not going to be evil because I don't like shooting people. I don't like it. So he just went down and became a traitor. Uh, I thought it was cool. Like, I know Ray complained a little bit but of all the complaints I hear a lot of people complaining about Finn oh he's annoying oh he's black like really guys really and it's, it's not even that annoying like sure he's more modernized than most of the Star Wars characters but I thought it fit well I, I honestly thought it fit well with with him and you know, I noticed since he was holding that lightsaber, he he's pretty much a Jedi because isn't there a rule that only Jedis hold lightsabers or use lightsabers to activate them? So that tells me he's a Jedi, so that's awesome. And then uh, we got Han Solo and Chewbacca, which, oh, that was so great seeing them. Chewbacca still has not <laughs> aged. He still looks young. I guess Wookiees just... You know, they know how to age well. And Han Solo actually looks really good and old. Like, he still is rocking it. But man. <sighs> Real talk. Real talk. When he died, I I had tears. Like, I seriously had tears on my eyes. And lots of emotional feelings throughout this movie. And the cast. And, um... So yeah, so it was good seeing Han Solo and Chewbacca, you know, they did a fantastic job, Harrison Ford, I mean, he still, he still acts like Han Solo, so that's, he did a fantastic job. And of course, we've seen Leia, which was cool, we've seen C-3PO, R2-D2, and Luke Skywalker at the end, which was awesome. Like, that was definitely a highlight of that movie. Just seeing him with his full beard, and he's in his cloak, he has the robot arm that's kind of like... His robot arm kind of looked like he was breaking a little bit, or, I don't know. Looked like it was crippling. But, um, yeah, it was cool seeing him. And then, we got to see Kylo Ren, which, he's a really cool villain, um... I don't know, like, I have complaints a little bit with him. Like, he's cool, but yet... 
I can't see him as Han Solo's son. Like, that doesn't click to me. I don't know. Like, his look just doesn't look like Han Solo and Leia. So, it it, it was kind of weird seeing that. Um, but I thought, I thought overall he was pretty cool. It seemed like this guy had rage issues. Like, he was, like, just slashing his lightsaber at, like, the control deck. And, uh, you know, just, like... He had so much anger in this in this guy, so um, yeah, I thought overall, as a Sith, he was really cool. And the oh man, the the lightsaber battle with him and Rey, perfect, like so beautiful. Like it was just so awesome seeing them like fight in the in the forest in the snowy forest and. I loved it. I just, I loved it. It was so cool. And I like the lightsaber effects. I thought the lightsaber effects were really good. Well, spot on. Um, I thought they were better than most of the Star Wars movies. Yeah, so I thought the lightsaber battles were really cool. And also, um, the X-Wing or the TIE Fighter scenes, those were really cool. The Seeing the Millennium Falcon again was just awesome. So yeah, overall, my quick thoughts of Force Awakens. Loved it. Um, I, I just felt like near the ending of it, it kind of fell short a little bit. Um, I just wish, I don't know, like I'm, I get why they did it because they wanted to make it seem like, oh yeah, we're going to make, uh, eight and nine. So I can see why they did that, but you know, I, I'm excited for those movies. I'm excited for eight and nine now because seven was so good and if I had to rank this movie I'd probably you know legit I would probably put this as top three for me like that's how good so I definitely recommend it if you have not seen it go see it it's worth it um comment down below of what do you think of the movie I'd love to hear what you think um and yeah anyways guys take care